right, hello everybody, and welcome back for another week at the One Number YouTube channel. Um, I'm Eric Parker, and in this week's video, I'm looking forward to doing a walkthrough on a type of uh, dashboard formatting that I found really helpful and sharp looking recently in Tableau. Um, first of all, huge shout out and props to my colleague Claudia. Um, this is basically uh, directly inspired by her and it is in fact almost exactly um, something that she showed me that I just loved and so I just decided Okay, that's also going to be my thing. So Claudia, um, thank you, all the props to you. Uh, so you can see here a dashboard format I've been using recently. Um, and I'm just going to kind of talk through a few elements of this and then show you how I would use this. Now, of course, there's no right or wrong dashboard formatting. Now there probably is better and worse. Um, I am the kind of person where I like a template and then just to be able to keep doing that same thing over and over again, uh, just to say, it kind of saves me time and energy. I can focus on the business problems and then have a format that I plug the answers and, uh, visuals into. So a few things that are going on here. Um, so first of all, I like that the background is a, um, kind of darker gray color and then the, uh, the background of the dashboard, I should say, and then the background of the sheets is white. Uh, I like there's a dedicated space for things like uh, dashboard description, filters, navigation icons, info buttons. Uh, I'll just put all that over there on the right side. Um, I like that the kind of title is dark so it pops out a little bit. I like just the uh, cleanliness of keeping the summary tiles kind of broken out side by side. I like that the uh, worksheet text uh, or titles aren't too large and taking up too much space. So uh, let's recreate something like this. Uh, we'll, we'll build something like this together so that you can kind of see how all these different elements would come together. So I'll just call this my example dashboard. And I'm just gonna set this to a size that works well for my screen, which is a width of 1100 and a height of 700. That is not meant to be a prescription. It's just gonna look nice for the sake of this video. Okay, so, uh, a few things here. So first off, I'm going to hit the little checkbox that says show dashboard title. And uh, I am going to do, I'm going to do a few dashboard formatting. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to edit a few dashboard formatting items right off the bat. So I'm going to hit the dashboard drop down on my toolbar format. Now I'm going to make the title font of this dashboard um, size 16. I'm going to make my worksheet titles size 10. And I'm gonna set the font um, if possible. It looks like it's only letting me do titles here. So I'm actually gonna close this out. I'm just gonna go to format for my entire workbook. So format workbook and for all fonts, you know, you can leave it as the default Tableau book, but I'm gonna set this to Sego UI. Okay. So now how do we get the background of this dashboard to be kind of that gray, light gray color? So I can select any object, double click on it, and honestly, just keep double clicking on objects until double clicking doesn't do anything else. So I like to double click the title, double click again, double click again. It's getting the very outside layout container of my dashboard. So now that I've got the very outside layout container, I'm gonna hit the layout drop down on my toolbar, uh, select background, and I'm just gonna pick the lightest shade of gray. Okay, now for my title, uh, I'm going to use the layout section here um, to change the background to kind of a darker gray and I'll double click the uh, text and set it to white. Okay, this is just purely my own deal. I'm enjoying making this in exactly 46 pixels tall if I can. It might end up being one more or one less. Um, I just find that to be kind of a, a helpful size with the size of dashboards I've been creating. Okay, so next I'm gonna get my summary tiles. Those can all go in a horizontal container together. So I'll do this here, and then I'm gonna put sales in the container first. Note the dark blue border indicating that the sales uh, worksheet is in fact going in the layout container as opposed to just a standard gray drop shadow like so. So I drop this in here. And then I'm gonna drag profit and order count side by side as well. Now I'm gonna get rid of the actual worksheet title. So right click, hide title, hide title, hide title. I'm gonna double click on one of them. So like order count, and that's actually gonna select the entire layout container there inside of. 
And one of my favorite things about layout containers is that you can tell Tableau to distribute objects evenly. So I can hit this drop down here, say distribute contents evenly. And uh, I think I need to set these to the fit being entire view and then it will look better. Okay. And so now I'm gonna get my monthly trend sheet and drag and drop that to the bottom of my dashboard. Okay, kind of cinch this up a little bit. So as of right now, monthly trends, um, the worksheet background is not white. So parts of it are, I guess I should say. Um, so you can see like, you know, where the grid lines and all that are, but like the object background isn't. So I need to click on monthly trends, go to layout and set the background here. Oops, let me select it again. Set the background here to white. Okay. Um, and so we're, you know, we've got some of the overall structure done. You see this, we basically have got the summary tiles, this, the title. So now it's time for this little menu on the right side here. So first of all, let me uh, just copy the classic lorem ipsum text. And I'm going to go over here to example dashboard. So I'm going to get a vertical layout container and I'll just uh, drag that and drop that to the far right of my worksheet and just delete the container that uh, color legend is in. Okay, so my first text blocks is gonna say dashboard description. I'm gonna make the text white and I'm, I'm gonna have it kind of match the formatting of the title. So the background will be kind of a darker gray. And uh, I think I want it to be a little bit bigger, maybe size 10, kind of match a worksheet title. And then I'm going to put a text box below this and just paste all my lore mips and stuff. Okay. So here's another really cool thing about layout containers that you might not know. Um, once an object is in the layout container, you can fix the height if you want. So for instance, if I want this uh, object dashboard description, I like this to be, let's call it 40 pixels tall. So because it's in a layout container, right? I did that vertical container and put it in there. I can click the drop down next to it and say edit height and then set it to 40 pixels. And now no matter what else I do, what else I change, it's just set at 40, which is awesome. Okay, so the next, I'm gonna do a similar thing and this one will just say filters. So again, size 10, white, centered. And I'm gonna make the background darker gray. I'm also gonna fix the height of this at 40 so that it matches what's going on up above. Now I can bring all those filters in. So I think those were all attached to my sales sheet originally. So I'm not gonna to take too long on this part because uh, I assume you're not here to see filters brought into a dashboard. Uh, but you know, for the sake of the uh, visual formatting, I think this will be helpful. Okay, let's turn these all into multiple values dropdowns. Okay. And now these are, uh, I'm actually going to do two things. I'm, I'm first going to put a blank in here, just kind of a placeholder. And now I'm going to move all my filters in here under the filters title one by one. So region, segment, category, subcategory. So you can see that you can end up having quite a bit of space for filters here, which is nice. And in fact, if I start running out of space, I can even cinch them so the filter is a one liner. So I have region and then this breakout. Um, I don't need to do that because I've only got four, but I just wanted to throw that out there as an option. So I've got to make sure it's wide enough so that my text isn't getting cut off here. Um, but something I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my dashboard title and just drag that to the very top of the sheet so that it runs the whole width and then my little menu on the right shows up. And now it's just a matter of kind of adjusting, formatting, you know, if I have any other footnotes, if I want to do it, sometimes I'll do another section for navigation in info buttons or links or, you know, click on this to go to another dashboard. You can do a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, I'll just put a little fake footnote in here, uh, you know, just so you can see what that would, uh, what that might look like having that down there at the bottom. Um, and then you can see I'm running out, my lower MIPS and ran out of space a little bit. So this is where it takes a little bit of, uh, kind of manual readjustment to uh, to get it just the way you want. So <laughs> I'm getting picky now, even though it's a completely example dashboard, it doesn't mean anything. Like I said, I, I, I just 
the weight, the height of a 46 just does it for me. So there you go. Cool. So like I said, that's a format that I found helpful. I hope that uh, maybe there was one or two things that you picked up there too that uh, could help you. Um, thanks again, Claudia. You rock. This is all on you. Um, and uh, yeah, appreciate you all following along and look forward to catching you on a, another video here soon.